Hello and welcome. Glad you've tuned in today and I'm here with an update. So this is something that I touched on in my last video recap of the Sussex's time in Nigeria. But apparently something very significant happened and I want to give focus on it. So I wanted to give it its own video. So something positive and significant happened on the Nigerian tour. So three kings left their kingdoms to come to Lagos to honor and bestow royalty upon Megan. So I'll give credit here to the global prince on X who has given us more information on the happenings of this occasion. In the post is written, quote, She, as in Megan, is now a princess of Nigeria in her own right. Ada Mazi Omu of Arochukwu ancient kingdom and says there are levels to this. So the kings with Princess Megan are his eminence, and I'll try and say this correctly, Ebere Chukwu Oji Eze Aro of ancient Arochukwu kingdom. And next is Igwe Alfred Achebe, the Obi of Onitsha. Last not least is the great Olu of Wari kingdom. This is supreme love. Princess Megan must be overwhelmed with this love in the post. And the post goes on to say, she must be emotional in response to someone saying she looks emotional. Writing, quote, the deep love and respect of her as an individual is on display. Full respect to Prince Harry. However, these are powerful African kings saying, Princess Megan, you are welcome home. You are royal. You are beloved. And someone else pointed out that when seeking audience with African kings, mostly people have to go to them. So them going out of their way to go to Lagos to bestow this honor on Meghan is so huge and significant. So the post goes on to say, quote, The kings bestowed a new royal title on her, thus making her a senior royal, princess of Arochukwu, ancient kingdom, in her own individual right. Hence why Prince Harry is not in the picture. Her new royal titles are denoted on the royal sash, Adamazi Omu of Arochukwu. And in a post to explain what the symbols on the sash mean, this is what is written, quote, Princess Meghan's royal sash depicts the Omu Aro royal coat of arms. The African symbology says Arochukwu people are as much prepared for peace, symbolized by the Omu palm frond, the knotted rope, as they are prepared for war, symbolized by the gun, sword, and shield. So there's a bird also in flight, and as you can see, some two crowns on either side. So, so once again, thank you for the information that has been provided in this post. So we are so happy that Nigeria has truly embraced the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, or Prince Harry and Princess Meghan. Wow, can you imagine that? So now imagine that when you call her Princess Meghan, that just takes on a whole new meaning because not only does she have that title through her marriage to Prince Harry, she will carry it as something that truly belongs to her, an honor bestowed upon her. That will be something that she truly has as African royalty and Nigerian royalty to be specific. So, wow, that is just such a moment to reflect on. What a great honor, three kings coming all the way to present Meghan this title. And by the way, looking at that image, she truly does look emotional. She looks like she's just about to burst into happy tears. And I'm sure that Doria is, <laughs> talk about a Mother's Day gift. Doria gets to see her own girl, her flower, becoming a senior royal in Nigeria, a princess. And that's something that no one can take away from her. It's her own right. It's now something that she will have forever. And no one can ever talk about taking that title away from her. Can you imagine that? So I think this is so incredible. I cannot wait to hear Megan expounding on this experience that she's had, being made a senior royal, having that new royal title, Adamazi Omu of Arochukwu. So it's interesting, many of you are just applauding this saying, indeed, go where you are loved, go where you are celebrated, not where you're tolerated. This is huge. This is massive news for the Duchess. A huge statement from the Nigerian kings and elders, making it known that she is royal and that she has been embraced on a whole new spectrum. And this, indeed, as Poe said, there are levels to this. So look at God. Isn't this his marvelous works? Just think, this is a whole new twist to this fairy tale. You cannot make this stuff up. Prince Harry now is married to Nigerian royalty, 
even as Meghan is married to British royalty. You cannot make this stuff up. This is just, someone has to make the movie to this right now. Can you imagine the implications of this? Moving forward, knowing that been truly claimed by Nigerian kings and she is a part of them. This is huge. This is huge. So they have now pledged in that, that she is a part of them. They embrace her. They will protect her. You know, her honor will be defended. She has a home. She is part of a kingdom. Uh, oh my gosh. Just get in the comment section and share your thoughts on this. I want to know your thoughts. I know a lot of you right now are typing. So yes, leave your thoughts in the comment section. So um, I think now Harry <laughs> is going to be so amazed. Not only is she a duchess, but in her own right, she is a princess. So that makes me wonder, this is a whole new a dynamic of power that has come into that marriage. Harry not only married, you know, Meghan, the actress, you know, the philanthropist, but now he is married to a fully fledged princess. No one, no one could have predicted this would have happened. And I'm just so excited, so happy for Meghan. She is a princess. And it's like the whole time when I was watching so many videos, people were calling Megan princess, princess. They were calling her princess of Sussex in one and I was just giggling. <laughs> but now for sure, she is a princess. This is stunning, massive, huge. I cannot wait to see how this will be covered and I wanted to share this with you here. So share thoughts with me on this news in the comment section below. As always, a very special thank you to those who support this channel financially. Thank you to you, Gail Tapscott. Thank you so much for the care that you've shown me and the support and for being so consistent in your giving. I want to say thank you for every way that you engage with this channel over the years. Thank you. Thank you as well to Cookies and Cream. I appreciate you for all of your enthusiasm, your love for being in the chat, for giving. I truly love and appreciate you. Thank you for your kindness. God bless you. I want to give a very special shout out right now to those of you who gave during the last live. Thank you to Black Queen, who as well is royalty. Your name just goes so well with this video. Know that we love you and are praying for you. And I truly appreciate the love that you've shown me time and time again. Know that I love you. You're valued and dear to me. Thank you. Once again, share all your thoughts on this news in the comment section below as we celebrate Princess Meghan by her new titles that she's been bestowed with Adam Mazi Omu of Arochuku Ancient Kingdom. So thumbs up this video, click that subscribe button, follow on Twitter or X, I'd love to see you on there as well. Keep it here for more and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.